And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to go through the standings um, in both conferences. And that will pretty much be it for the show today. So we'll start off with the AFC. So after Week 12, uh, the Dolphins, uh, they picked up a game on the Bills. So now they're 8-3 and three on the season. The Bills are 6-6. Six and six. Uh, The Jets 4-7 and seven, as they've now lost uh, four in a row. Um, the Patriots are two and nine. Yeah, I mean the division. Uh, it's, you know, five years ago, you tell me that the Patriots are going to be two and nine in the last place. I, I mean, I would never believe you, but that's the reality we are living in right now. The Patriots are no longer a good football team. Um, the point differential, one forty eight to two forty eight. That is, I mean, that's terrible. Um, and. Last year, I, I mean, we thought I I thought that was going to be the year, and then they went eight nine. So I was like, all right, well, I guess the Patriots are just going to be that team that just you know they're going to be in it till the end and just you know fall short. But that's not the case this year. I mean, everything just fell apart, um, and they're going to be in the market for a new quarterback definitely. Um, then you go to the AFC North. Uh, you got the Ravens at nine and three, the Browns and the Steelers both seven and four, and the Bengals of course at five and six. Um, just really stinks for the Bengals just because, you know, they started to really put it together with Burrow getting healthier, and then he, of course, got hurt again and out for the year. Um, they're actually 0-4 in the division this year. That's crazy. Um, and then it's probably going to end up being 0-6. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, they could maybe beat the Browns um, with the Browns quarterback situation, but, yeah, not good. Not good. And then you go over to the AFC South, so... The ja- I mean, the Jags winning against the Texans was so important for them um, because if they don't, Texans would have been in first place. Um, but they did win. They improved to 8-3 and three on the season, um, and they are two games up on both the Colts and the Texans. So they just got to keep winning games. Um, in the AFC West, uh, of course, the Chiefs are 8-3. and three. Uh, Broncos are 6-5. and five. Raiders 5-7. and seven. Chargers 4-7. and seven. Um like I said, if the Broncos would have won those first two games at the beginning of the season, they'd be tied with the Chiefs right now. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that is not the case, so they're going to have to try to get the wild card. Cause, I mean, I, the Chiefs, I think, still win the division, of course. Um, although, listen, they did beat the Raiders. They looked better, but again, I got to see more uh, from them, um, offensively at least. Uh, then, uh, you know, we go to the, a, uh, the NFC. Eagles are 10-1. and one. I don't think Dallas is going to catch them. Dallas is at 8-3. and three. They're two games back. They do play them one more time, but I think um, I, I think the Eagles, they uh, they take the division. And then you got the Commanders and the Giants at 4-8. and eight. Then in the NFC North, Lions are 8-3, and three, two and a half games up on the Vikings. Um, you know, the Vikings, they could have picked up a game on them, but they unfortunately lost their game on Thanksgiving against the Packers. Um, why did I, I, that's not what I meant to say. They lost their game against the Bears yesterday. Lions lost to the Packers on Thanksgiving. That's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, they could have picked up a game on them, but they didn't. Um, you got the Bears at four and eight, Packers five and six. Uh, Lions, I think, still win the division. Um, but, uh, these other teams that will be looking for trying to get in through the wild card. Uh, the Bears are at four and eight, but I don't. You know, they're not going to make a run at it. Then we get to our favorite division in the NFL, the NFC South. Falcons 5-6, and six, Saints 5-6, and six, Bucks are 4-7. and seven. I don't know who is going to win the win this division. I mean, the Saints, that should be the team that does, but they are just, like, they're, they're a mess. I mean, Derek Carr's turning the ball over. They're driving. Taysom Hill fumbles. Um... You know, and the Falcons, I mean, you know, Desmond Ritter, he's still turning the ball over. The question marks, a quarterback. Um, I mean, that's a team that needs a quarterback, is the Falcons. Um, and then you got the Bucks, who at one point, they were 3-1 and one on the season, and they're 4-7 and seven now. Because, yeah, if you go back to, so when I came out with that video, so I came out with it at about... Well, I'll say in October. It was in October. It was before the game against the Lions. Since then, 
Uh, they've gone one and six, and they've lost some tough games. I mean, that you lose to the Falcons by three, you lost to the Texans by two. That game you should have won, but C.J. Stroud's late heroics uh, prevented you from that. You know, you lost to the Colts by seven. You know, um, yeah. I, I mean, they uh, they've been struggling. I mean, and, and listen, with this division, they still got a chance, but. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you got the Panthers coming up. I think they should win that game at the Falcons, at the Packers, home against the Jags, um, home against the Saints at Carolina. I mean, I, I, I think I think maybe they get to, you know, seven wins, maybe. I think they finish maybe seven and ten. That's kind of how I'm looking at their schedule. But I don't know. Maybe, you know... They wake up and they could somehow, you know, win this division. But I just I don't see it. It's either going to be the Falcons and the Saints right now. Um, then you go to the NFC West. Got the Niners at eight and three. Seattle six and five. Rams five and six. And the Cardinals are two and ten. Forty um, ers That's their division. Um, so then you look at the. Uh, you know, the current seeding. So right now the Ravens are the one, the Chiefs are the two, Jags three, Dolphins four. But it's so close, it could change instantly. Um, you know, the Ravens are a half game up on everybody else. But it can all change. I mean, the Ravens got a bye week now, so, you know, all these teams can gain a half a game on them if they win. Um, in the wild card, you have the Steelers, the Browns, and the Colts currently holding the three wild card spots. I don't think the Colts are going to hold it. So it's either going to be the Texans, the Broncos, or the Bills I, I, that is going to get that spot from the Colts. And right now the Broncos hold the tiebreaker over the Bills because they just beat them. And if the Bills would have won that game, they would have they they'd be in a better spot. They well they'd be in the the uh, the playoffs right now. Um. Yeah, I mean I, I saw a, a, an Instagram post. It's well, or an Instagram post or a TikTok, but it's going to be crazy how. We could possibly see no Burrow, no Herbert, and no Allen in the playoffs this year. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping we get at least Josh Allen back in the playoffs. Because, I mean, you get the Bills in as a seventh seed, nobody is going to want to play them. Nobody. Um, and the offense has looked better the last two weeks. Again, they turned the ball over. But, you know, Josh Allen played a very good game on Sunday against the Eagles. Um, but, yeah, they got a... Uh, they got a really tough schedule coming up. They got the Chiefs. They got the Cowboys. They got the Chargers. Um, they're home against the Patriots. Um, and then they're at the Dolphins. I mean, they could possibly finish 8-9. I, You know what? I will say, I I think they beat the Chiefs. I, I, I think they beat the Chiefs in a couple weeks. So then, with the, me saying that, go ahead and take the Chiefs. But they listen. I know the playoff game they lost. They lost. You know that that epic uh, divisional matchup. You know the final score was forty-two to thirty-six. I think. Um, but in the regular season, um, they've won the last uh, the uh, the last two matchups. So, um, I'm going to I'm going to say that you know because it's of how big of a game it is and how the Chiefs' offense has been struggling. I mean these teams know each other well. Um, right now, I mean, I gotta, you know, see what the sprite is and all that, but I would take the Bills to win that game, but we'll see. Um, they got a lot of tough games coming up on their schedule though, so it's going to be, it's going to be tough for them to get in, but, um, you know, I could see them beating the Chargers, the Patriots, the Dolphins is going to be a tough game. I mean, you really are going to have to win. I mean, you are going to have to win out. Which I don't think is going to happen because I, I think the Cowboys game at home is going to be a really tough game. I don't know if they're going to win that. Um, but could they run the table? Absolutely. If Josh Allen could play like he did on Sunday without turning the ball over, the um, the Bills could definitely run the table. Uh, but we'll have to. But we'll just have to. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's really just between. So right now you got the Colts, the Texans, the Broncos, and the Bills. I think those are the teams that are going to be fighting for those spots. Um, the Bengals without Burrow, the Raiders, the 
The Chargers just continue to sink. Um, I mean, look at where the Jets are now. I mean, I know I did a video or a segment a while back, just like, can the Jets make the playoffs? But it's not going to happen because the offense has just been horrendous lately. Um, and it's crazy how they're only they're, the Eagles' only loss is to the Jets. How is that possible? They should be undefeated right now. But that's the NFL for you. Then in the NFC, you got the Eagles, the Niners, the Lions, and the Falcons. Um, you have the Cowboys as the fifth seed of the Seahawks, as the sixth seed, the Vikings as the seventh seed. You got the Packers, the Rams, the Saints, the Bucks. I mean, if you want to count the Bears, the Giants, and the Commanders at four and eight, I, I'm not. I really, I, I think it's going to come down to. I mean, now you got the Rams back in the conversation. I mean, they, they've won two in a row now. Um, you know, Kyron Williams. I, I keep saying Karen. It's I think it's Kyron Williams. I don't know. It's it's one of the two. But he had a great game on Sunday, his first game back coming off of IR. So now the Rams are back in the conversation. Um, the Packers play the Vikings twice. So that could really dictate, you know, whether or not, you know, one of these teams makes the playoffs or not. Um, Seattle's been struggling as of late. And now they play the Cowboys. So they might find themselves at 6-6. Six and six. So... This is a prime opportunity for, you know, the Packers and the Rams. You know, they could pick up a game on these two teams. Because, um, you know, I early on I was like, eh, it looks like Seattle's probably, probably going to get in. But they got the Cowboys at the 49ers, home against the Eagles. I mean, they could lose three games in a row. Because uh, those are the top three teams in the NFC. And then this, the schedule gets, um, you know, soft at the end. You got the, at the Titans, home against the Steelers. But the Steelers could, Steelers got a good defense. And then you're at the Cardinals with Kyler. So, I don't know. I mean, Seattle, they, they got to be careful because they might find themselves out, uh, you know, if they continue to head in this direction. But I don't think – I really don't think any – NFC South team is getting it. Um, I just don't trust the Saints. Um, like, I don't think the Rams and the Packers are great, but, you know, they've been playing better. Um, the Rams have the Browns, though, and they could win that game, but it's going to be a struggle just because of the defense. The Browns quarterback situation is, a me again, a mess. Um, but then they're at the Ravens. Then you're home against the Commanders, which you can win. Home against the Saints, which you could win. At the Giants, you should win that game. And then it might have to come down to, you know, having to beat the 49ers on the road. So, which is something they haven't done the last couple of years. So, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, well, I, it's been more than a couple. It's been like a few. It's been several years. I mean, the la I think the when's the last time the Rams won in San Francisco? I think it was... Was it 2018? Yeah, it was probably 2018 because that was before, like, you know, they drafted Bosa and, you know, Garoppolo got hurt that year um, before Debo Samuel, too. Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was 2018 was the last time because then 2019 they lost, 2020 they lost. Yeah, and then the last two uh, games in San Francisco were uh, um, Monday night games, I think, right? I think so. Yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, it hasn't been good. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that, though, that is all the time that we have for today. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune in uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. And, uh, yeah, and obviously look out for the shorts that are coming out um, later today. I also reposted um, yesterday's show as well. That's up. You know, it's broken up into four parts. So in case you missed anything, it's all right there. So until then, I'm Kenneth Gruenfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.